first off, for everyone who somehow don't know who you are, could you explain <laughs> who you are and kind of what you do with Final Fantasy? Sure. I am Susan Calloway. Hello. And I am the theme singer of Final Fantasy XIV, as it would turn out. I sang answers for the game, that's how most yeah. people know me, and then I sang Heaven's Word, and who knows, there could even be more, but we'll can't say anything yet. Okay. If you can't say anything, you can't, can't say, say anything. anything. Maybe I can trick you somehow <laughs> to say something. But. I'm planting the seed, that's all I'm doing. Alright, gotcha. All right, so the point of the interview today is just to kind of meet with you and let players kind of get to know you a little bit better. I know you've done a whole bunch of uh, different things with the Final Fantasy community with interviews. Like, you've done, you've met with Lunar Radio. I know them mm -hmm. uh, pretty well. Who else have you met with uh, so far? Oh, don't ask me that. Uh, okay, I won't ask you that. A lot of Because everyone's got these funky names, and it's like, it's yeah. great. I mean, I've, I've done quite a few interviews. It's right. been great. And, and even internationally, um, one thing that's fun is some of the promoters we work with in other countries mm -hmm. will just bring in a bunch of promoters and they are translating in English the whole time, so really don't ask me what the <laughs> okay, are. Okay, right. Because I really would know. But okay. we've done it. I mean, I've been really impressed with the amount of just this whole underground community that's so connected all yeah. over the world. So it's, I'm very happy to be a part of it. So That's awesome. Yeah. Yay, Final Fantasy fans. Yeah. And I'll be posting this probably on the Reddit as well, which you've done okay. an AMA on yes. as well. I went through that and it was yeah, really good. Yeah, hopefully I'll do it. Yeah, do another <laughs> That was sort of fun, you know. Yeah, the people who run that are really great guys. I think that would be a great opportunity for you. Yeah, because cool. there's so many questions all these players have. Just it's kind of weird on that Reddit. You have to post it kind of at the right time too, and put right. it up, and make sure that uh, you get the right people going into it. Right. After a while, it kind of fades away. It's not like a huge community on Reddit, but right. It's still the it's the main source of information we have for the game. Sure. But. All right, so I'll go ahead and <laughs> ask you a few questions just about yourself. Okay, sure. All right, so the first thing I want to ask you is kind of, when did you start gaining your passion for singing? Was it something like a childhood or just like sometime when you were a teenager or when did that happen? Well, I, yeah, I started singing when I was really young. In fact, I started out playing the piano when I was about five and that's when my parents kind of recognized that. They had me in private lessons, which was really great. They were really supportive and nurturing of my talent. And, I started singing right along with that, and I was um, I started performing really young. In fact, I was, um, I was I was even cast as Annie for the Chicago musical um, for that. But I didn't do it because it would have involved my whole family moving to Chicago. And at the time, my parents were like, you know, my dad had a job in Detroit, and it was like this isn't really like a fa you know it wasn't. Right. If she wants to pursue it on her own. She's a an adult. We you know great, but we right. just didn't feel like it was the right thing right then. So. But, um, so I've been performing though, I mean I performed all the time even at that age, just in school plays and you know, music groups and things like that and then I started writing music when I was about 12 and I would write and sing my own songs on piano and guitar because I started playing guitar in high school as well and, and just, I've been doing that ever since and this yeah. has happened at a really funny moment in my career so it's, it's awesome. Well, I'm <laughs> glad it did happen to be honest with you. So. Me too. <laughs> well, with video games and everything, I mean, you're kind of getting absorbed into that. Um, I know you're an extremely busy person, and video games kind of take up a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, but people commonly ask you this a lot, if you play video games or uh, if right. you play Final Fantasy, and I think you've said sometimes that you're just waiting to kind of get in there and learn it and everything. I know it is inevitable that I pull out the Final Fantasy XIV that Square Enix sent me and open it up. <laughs> yeah. And I think what I'll probably do is we'll just do we'll make we'll make a day of it. We'll tell everybody. We'll do it online. You guys can all laugh at me, yeah. or maybe help me. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be some help and also some I'm sure dart throwing. That's okay. Yeah. I can take it. I yeah. can take it. So, so you might stream that. Like, yeah, that's what we're thinking. I have a couple friends that are in the area where I live that are have offered to. I'm sure you know. Help you put up some sort of streaming. Setup exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and yeah. know how to play the game that are actually really good players. So they can so. kind of backseat game. And exactly. Kind of, yeah. Look, she's amazing and she's never played. Yeah. <laughs> We're hoping, right? Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. And then you can start doing the fights where they actually use your song and you right. can kind of sing while you're doing it. Exactly. Yeah. That'd be kind of surreal. Yeah. So I guess the other question is going a little bit further, have you played any kind of games at all? Like any kind of mobile games or any kind of Um not I mean I they're fun. I mean, I've, I've a little bit I've messed around with it, but honestly, like just with where I'm at in my career right now, I've spent so much of my time focused on writing music and like if I'm not working and writing music, I'm trying to hang out with friends and get caught up with family and things like that. So it's hard to it's hard to do that stuff. But I mean, I, I it's totally fun. I mean, when I was in high school, I did a little more of that stuff, but okay. obviously I'm not in high school anymore. So well. I had to grow up. 
You don't have to. I mean, it's something <laughs> you can delay for quite a while. It is, I know. And not that, you know, playing games means you're right. a child or by any means. <laughs> but for me, it was like, you know, at that time, I just, it's, it's hard to have a really involved career and have a hobby that's that time consuming. Right. So. And people fall into that trap a lot where they start playing a game like that and it starts to take up their entire life. And right. You have something much more valuable, I think. Right. To I'm spend trying. Your time. Yeah. But I'd like to understand it more, so we'll still do the online thing, I, you know, yeah. hopefully I won't get hooked, Right. and I can blame everybody. <laughs> I don't think too many people will be upset. But, That's good. Uh, Alright, so at the moment when uh, the Final Fantasy players kind of think of a musician with Final Fantasy, besides, you know, Soken and kind of the major, like, behind-the-scenes people who work for Square Enix, mm -hmm. they think of you as the most uh, lead singer of Final Fantasy, almost. Um, I guess my question for you is, how do you feel about that? Do you feel... Uh, good about that? Are there any like negative drawbacks to feeling uh, like there's a lot of uh, your career going towards this video game? Or? Well, that's a really good question. Um, I don't think it's a drawback because this has been nothing but positive for me in so many levels. Um, the thing that gets tricky is being so heavily associated with it that people aren't willing to maybe see you in a different light or and also gets into a thing where Square Enix I know really looks at me as being part of now the Final Fantasy 14 in particular brand so like if I want to maybe do some of the other music from some of the other Final Fantasies because there's some that I perform live right. that we've thought about maybe recording and so there's some debate about that right now like does that make sense you know to right. do and, and so I think it that can be frustrating because I'm, as an artist, I just want complete freedom to do whatever I want. Right. <laughs> but you have to sort of honor the position you're in as well. So I think it's a tricky balance. But what I'm hoping is that um, if people like my voice, you know, and like my uh, point of view that I bring when I sing Final Fantasy songs, I'm hoping they will give my music a chance and listen to that because we're working on actually a new EP right now that's going to incorporate some of the songs from 14. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of done Susan style. Okay. And um, I released uh, one of them actually earlier this year, Answers. I call it the artist cut because it's sort of like my version. I've heard it. And um, we're going to be doing a, a couple other ones too. So I mean, I'm hoping that that will be a nice bridge to my music just to let people think of me not just as the singer in front of the orchestra, but right. really get to know me more as an artist because it's more who I am and it's a side of me I really would love to share with the Final Fantasy fans. So. Yeah, and they definitely should check it out. So. Any of those tracks, they should definitely check Thank out. You. They're amazing. So. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, I guess the other question kind of involving yourself in video games is doing all this, do you feel like you've gotten to know what the gamer kind of mentality is? Do you feel like you've gotten a little bit more connected to the gamer community because of definitely, this? Definitely, definitely. And it's really, um, I really appreciate the gamer community a lot. I think um, I appreciate how creative and intelligent and artistic they are. I think that's something I've really noticed is that. Um, you know, this is this is a complicated game. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine was explaining me the storyline to 14, and I was just like, I mean, he had to write, put it in an email. I'm like, you're gonna have to like write all that down, and I'm gonna have to read it like 35 times because yeah. there's so many details of like this happened in this world and this person, and then this blew mm -hmm. up, and then and it was right. just a lot of de and it's just it's very you can't be stupid and play this game. So you guys are a bunch of smarty pants. Uh, it's apparently, really <laughs> involved with story. Like they they create this giant world and. A lot of players who play the game like don't understand half the story that's going through it right, because it's right. how big and massive what it is. What it's really implying. Yeah. Well, and you know, one thing I really love about it is I love uh, the whole concept of this good versus evil, like moral conflict. I really love because I actually have a really strong faith, and it's a big part of my music and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I think because I kind of deal with that as a songwriter of really trying to make sense of like, you know, if God is real, how come this, and, and where do we fit our faith into our busy lives now, and how. Can that really help me? And, and I think, I think there's a natural quest in the gamer community that I've seen of just wanting to kind of ask those bigger questions. And so I really, that I really relate to that part of it, you know, because right. I see that. And I, I'm sure not everybody feels that way, but right. I see it still. There's an underlying theme I think in the game that I see like that. And I think it's, to me, that's a, that's a, it's not just a pretend world. It's real, you know. Right. And so that's actually kind of interesting here too that you take it very personally and deeply kind of with power yeah. and everything. Well, it's like the spiritual realm of like, you know, so. All right. Well, I wanted to actually go towards you working with Square Enix now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I'm pretty sure that's a dream of some people to work with Square Enix, like mainly the video game community. They right. think, hey, I would love to work with Square Enix. I would love to sing with them. What, what's the events that actually led you to working with them? 
Well, I, when I was just out performing as a, you know, a young artist, I actually met um, some people that I started doing a lot of session work in the Chicago area, and I, one of the guys that used to work at a company I used to do a lot of work for, he ended up working at Arnie Roth's company, and it was just kind of like everything kind of lined up at this moment where Arnie had started working with Final Fantasy, and I don't, I don't know exactly when he started because he's obviously been involved much longer than I have. Um, but when he started kind of doing that, they were looking for a singer. You know, they had been trying to really do some audio CDs and things like that. And that was my first involvement was actually appearing on the audio CD before I ever did anything live or on the game or anything. And um, and he'd been working with Naboo, and they were, I think Naboo was kind of on a quest for a, just a different sound. You know, just trying to get away from the way they had done things in the past. And so I did this work on the audio CD and Naboo really liked it and Arnie really liked it and the fans were really responding and that was before there was ever even a Distant Worlds show, right. you know? And that went really well and then we ended up doing another CD and then the shows kind of just started evolving and they were getting bigger and bigger and more popular and I started coming on some of those and, and that was really great and this whole thing has kind of turned into this like snowball of fun. <laughs> That's <laughs> that a great way to describe knew. it. Yeah, it's just yeah. none of us really anticipated, I don't think, that it would turn into such a thing. And now it's turned into this really successful concert tour, so I'm really thrilled to be a part of it. It's a, and Arnie's done an amazing job. I mean, he's so, what a brilliant musician, you know. I mean, it's been such an honor to work with him and just his orchestration, his leadership, the way that he puts together the music. I mean, he makes, you know, it's such a pleasure and honor to work with him. And, and, and Nobu as well. I mean, he obviously is a genius. And, I mean, his melody lines are just... Amazing, you know. Lots so, of people will agree with you. Yeah, he's just and what a great guy. I mean, he's just a nice guy. He's been he's so complimentary and easy to work with and he always makes me feel so comfortable. He always wants me to be myself. You know, he's always like, put your Susan stamp on it, you know, which I love right, that. You know, yeah. he's not like super controlling, like you know, and a lot of people who write music are. They want it to be like exactly like what I'm written. Yeah. With. He's, he's very free and I, I love that about him. It's it's what makes him a great artist, you know. I mean, they must be like absolutely amazing people to work with. I mean, yeah, do you awesome. so you talk to them pretty much every day when you're um, on tour? Oh no. Oh? Well, on tour, well, oh. when we do, well, you know, and this this tour is interesting because it's it's more of a thing like we don't go out like we don't jump from place to place to place. We all go home in between usually. I mean, okay. well, I do because I don't go to all the shows. I mean, Arnie does many more shows than I do at this point. Um, so, but when we are in a city, yes, yeah. <laughs> but we're also sort of busy because we kind of. You know, when you're doing something like this for, and it's, you know, you're trying to like keep the cost down, things like that. You don't usually come for, you don't have all this free time to just hang out. It's more like there's a rehearsal and usually hang out like during the concert days, backstage is when we hang out the most. So. I wish I, I, if we had time, I'd probably prod into kind of what you guys talk about and how those conversations <laughs> go and everything. Oh, they vary. Everything from chicken to music to the yeah. Rolling Stones. Yeah, the Rolling we cover, Stones. We cover all of it. That's awesome. All right. Well, so obviously it sounds like you have a pretty good relationship with Square Enix. Yeah. Um, would you say it's pretty solid right now? Has it been just constantly building, or is there any kind of bad situations that's kind of hard for me to like ask? And, like, <laughs> well, if I was, I wouldn't say it anyway. Yeah, exactly. No, but um, no, they're great. They've been awesome. They're they have. There's nothing bad to say. They're they're they've been awesome to work with. They're incredibly supportive. I am really thrilled that they've championed me as being a part of you know, their franchise, I mean, really. I mean, I, I'm very flattered and happy that they're so happy with my work, and I I was really excited this year that they asked me to be involved in FanFest, because this is kind of my first time I'm right. kind of branching into doing some other things that aren't just with this world, so yeah. who knows, maybe that'll end up doing, you know, turning into something else, but... You might have to travel um, to Europe and Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, actually, I, okay. <laughs> I think we're doing now those as well, so oh, yeah? as I understand it, so yeah. Because wow. I think they're doing the same FanFest in all three Cities. Yeah, they usually change so, up a little bit of information they give out. They try to leak information. Each okay. One. Uh, hopefully, they're like, okay, yeah, well, it's all right. Right. We don't need to hold that information back. Yeah, I don't know. I, as we're taping this, we have to cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I didn't, I, I knew they were waiting to announce it, but I mean, I know they announced the Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, they definitely announced Las Vegas. But I know, I mean, I'm up to the other ones. So. Yeah, all yeah, right. No, that's happening already. The contracts are. Yep. Well, that's awesome. I mean, um, so we're, I, that was the next question I was going to ask is how did that happen? How did you like get into FanFest? Was it, do you believe that maybe all the support from fans kind of saying, hey, you have to have Susan Calgary? I don't think it had something to do with it because I, I get a lot of people asking if I'll come and I'd love to come, but it's obviously one of those things that's hard to come unless there's like a support system to get you there because, you know, it's, this is what I do for my job and so it's, it's tough because I try to be as, you know, flexible as I can and, 
mm -hmm. you know, available and stuff, but you gotta still kinda pay bills and yeah. there's a level of cost to do things, you know, it's not it's not just a hobby, it's my job. It's what allows me to give you all the music, so right. hopefully they treat so, you well yeah. enough so they can oh, kinda yeah. get you yeah, uh, I think more involved with it. Well who knows, you know? We'll just let it I, I think all of this is really in the fans' hands more than anything, you know, yeah. as long as they're I haven't talked to a single person who plays the game and doesn't know who you are. They they pretty much think of you as the the singer of right. Final Fantasy. Right. <laughs> right. That's funny. The official singer. So. Um, yeah. All right. So with the concert, are there any details about the concert that uh, you could give out? I think I talked to Matt Hilton. I don't know if you talked to him at all. He works with the community team. He said that you guys might be uh, you'll be doing some sort of kind of soft piano session or something similar to that uh, at FanFest. We're hoping for that. That is still sort of something we're working out because okay. the composer of Final Fantasy XIV um, has arranged a bunch of the music that are going to be playing for the, they're doing like a piano concert. And right. I was kind of brought in after the fact. And so there's kind of been a big debate of how that should happen because okay. we didn't want to, we wanted to honor all the work he put in mm -hmm. without stepping on toes. But at the same time, I would of course love to just be able to play my versions because I'm just more comfortable that way. And, right. and we haven't really rehearsed or anything, so it'll yeah. be an adventure wow. how that works out. But I'm still hoping maybe I could play at least answers, you know, sing and play that just because it would be, I just would love to share that with it the fans. It would be a mistake you know? if you didn't play answers. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I hope they will. We're hoping that they, they all go along with that, so. Yeah. So, um, I'll be at FanFest, so we'll see you will there. Will you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, we're traveling out there. Uh, we'll yeah, be running around. it's not too far because it's yeah. Vegas, so. Yeah, it's not too far. It's like a four to five hour drive or so. Okay. So, we'll probably make it out there. We'll be out there recording and uh, awesome. we'll be looking for you and trying to wave Perfect. our hands and flag you down and everything. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, I'll talk a little bit about the Distance Worlds tour okay, now. Okay, sure. Um, how has that tour actually been? I mean, how long has it been going on for? I know, you know, I'm not really sure. I mean, probably four or five years now. I'd have to look look at a calendar. I'm not even sure. Really? I've really been counting. Um, well, there's just so much going on. It's right. Yeah. The time just goes by so fast. A while. I mean, it's you know, a while, and it just it keeps going. So I mean, it's just it's been a really solid concert tour. So. So it's been kind of a good experience for oh, you, like, or, like well, we've already kind of heard you say a little bit of how great they kind of treat you during the oh, concert. Oh, absolutely, so. yeah. No, it's been great. It's, I mean, singing with an orchestra. I mean, I, you know, I grew up singing in front of rock bands, so I mean, singing okay. for an orchestra is similar but completely different at the same right. time. <laughs> it's a really big band. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> but it's, uh, but it's great, and I'm again just very honored to do it, and I think it's. It's inspired me, you know, mm -hmm. because I think when this came about, I was going through some kind of some real transitional time in my own artist journey of what I was going to do next. And because you just do that periodically, you kind of put out music and you'll be like readdressing, like, what should I do or how do I want to refocus? And then this kind of came along and it really, I think it really helped me find myself as a singer, mm -hmm. you know, because it was such a, it's one of those situations when you're on a stage like that, that you, you either shrink back or you have to stand up, right. you know? And it's, it was one of those things that really forced me as a singer to go, okay, I gotta like take the stage. I gotta do this. I gotta go all in with this and really, you know, and really own what I'm doing. And I think just doing that in that kind of capacity has it's been very good for me. You know, it's really helped me to focus on who I am as an artist and a performer. And, right. So. That's awesome. Like, um, I guess. I, I want to dig a little bit more into it and just ask you if you've had any interesting stories so far with them, like anything <laughs> crazy that's happened. I mean, it's not the same thing as rock concerts, I guess. Oh, I can tell you something. Are... It's yeah, so sure. embarrassing, but I'll tell you because I love all you guys. Okay. Um, I there was a time I was singing uh, Sutaki Dane, uh, and it was you know they have it's really a Japanese song. I really don't have any business singing it. I know that some of the fans are just like even like she shouldn't be singing it. She's not, really? you know, and I'm like I know some people really like my version, but I mean I yes I am American. I can't quite do the Japanese thing, so <laughs> forgive me. Oh, um, she was fine. But um, but I was singing. They had these American lyrics that were sort of generated to do the song live at a concert setting and. I was just really tired. We'd been doing a few shows. I was just exhausted, and it's just because the, the lyrics are translated from Japanese. They're they don't make a, sometimes as much sense like you would normally say in English what this is. So sometimes it's a little hard to remember. And I just blanked. <laughs> and I just remember I like I, I threw in like some extra words. And I don't even know if anybody noticed. Like Arnie did. Like we sort of chuckled about it because he was like, <laughs> he kind of liked it. I mean, it's funny to see his looks because you guys can't see him, right. but I can. Um, but that was like a horror. All right, so I guess um, the one last thing I want to kind of ask you about the Distant Worlds tour. Um, 
I'm very excited to see it tomorrow. We're going, and we're bringing six of our friends, and we're going to be, we're at the balcony, so, you know, we'll be up there all kind of waving at you and everything. Awesome. Uh, don't have to respond. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, is there anything that you're, like, really just excited to perform up there, or is there anything that, like, uh, if you had one song that you could only sing during that concert, what would that song be? Well, that's tough. I mean, I think, I mean, Answers is still sort of my favorite, but I mean, it'll be really cool to do Dragon Song tomorrow because we haven't done it here and it's still new. We've only done it twice. Oh, like, yeah? Yeah, I mean, because it's just newly kind of out there. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of fun because I think fans will be excited to hear that because they haven't heard it live. You know, because we did it in Chicago and then we did it in Dallas last week, but so that'll be kind of neat. So, so the last question about it, sorry, I said that was the last question, and I, but okay, the <laughs> other question I had really for it was sometimes you're not at the Distance World concerts, and you kind of said that you don't make all of them. Um, is it just more of a scheduling thing for when you don't make all of them? For Arnie and I probably got into a big fight, and I just okay, said, you just said no, just, I'm not coming this week, you're done, <laughs> you're on your own. No, well, you know, it really depends because you know, doing a concert tour. You know, the back end of this is there's a there's a financial piece, you know, mm -hmm. that's very challenging. And to do a live orchestra and all this stuff, it's, it's expensive. Right. So, I mean, having me come in, and obviously it's another flight, another hotel, another, you know, it's right. it can get kind of tricky to do that. And then, and also they try to change up the shows because there's not, as you know, most of the music is instrumental. So mm -hmm. you can actually get away with, like, when you're doing a smaller market or if he's maybe playing a city that maybe they have a lower budget and he's testing the waters to see how like how big a turnout, how many tickets will we sell. Mm -hmm. It might not be necessary. You know what I mean? It's like it's more right. cost effective to have to go there first and just kind of see before you start just paying for all these right. extra artists to come in. Because, you know, sometimes he'll have other artists like pianists or the opera, when he'll get, like, opera singers to do the opera, you know, that mm -hmm. piece. Um, and it's great, but it's, you know, it all costs money. It's expensive, yeah. Well, I'm glad it worked out to where you were coming to Phoenix. Yeah, me too. That's absolutely amazing. Thank uh, you. Because this was I more than a pleasure to know. I try to come whenever I can, you know. I mean, I don't, I always welcome it. And Arnie, I know Arnie is always wanting me to come. It's just, it's just a matter of, you know, and then obviously the material right. selection and then also, so. Yeah. All right, well, I want to ask you, Pretty much a few more questions, not too many more, so I'm not okay, going to keep you too okay. much longer. <laughs> but looking forward to the future with uh, Susan Calloway, mm -hmm. what can we kind of expect? Is there something that we should be looking out for? Well, um, yeah. I'm working on a new EP right now mm -hmm. um, that we're going to be, it will be ready for Fan Fest, so I'm very excited about that. It's, it's going to be kind of a short EP okay. um, that's going to be just available there. But we're working on a longer EP that's going to be available um, hopefully by the end of the year. So, and it's going to be, this first EP is going to be really focused on kind of Susan Unplugged, like kind of like the answers that I put out. It's minimal production, really focused on me and the piano. Um, it's going to have some of my music that I've written on it, but then alongside what we felt like, we wanted to do some Final Fantasy songs, and then we chose some Susan songs that we felt like worked together as, right. a, as, a, as a body of work. So we kind of... We're gonna do that and see how fans like that. And then after that, if that goes well, I have my heart set on doing a full length, you know, Susan record or CD or LP or something or vinyl, I'll, whatever. I'll be going for it. And just <laughs> whatever we put out. To so. clarify for a few people who might not understand what EP means, could right. you explain? Yes, it to it's them? an yeah. extended play piece, so it's okay. uh, it can be anywhere from three to six songs. So we're doing something. We're gonna do like a little sampler for everybody in Vegas because we're not quite ready. But okay. This came up and we wanted to have something available for that, so we're gonna have that ready for that. But um, we're gonna hopefully do like a six song one. Um, it'll be available by the end of the year, and then a full record next year. So. Uh -huh. Well, it's part I'm, of the plan, so we're just trying to roll it out, and we're hoping that people will stream it and buy it, and you know, because yeah. that's the support we need to give us the thumbs up to say, yeah, record more music. So I'm certain it will sell pretty well. I mean, a lot okay. of people who are in love with the game will definitely be awesome. buying it. So. Oh, and there's a new website that's going to be done really soon too. We're yeah. working on that. That's going to be done in the next. We we're trying to get it done for this weekend, but I don't know if it's going to be ready. We okay. need a few more days, so but we'll do a big announcement. So. All right, and you'll announce the address then, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's I think my old site's up there now. It's just SusanCalloway.com, which oh, okay. isn't so there's still a site there, but it's just you know one thing I should tell you guys too um, is it, it's a really great idea to sign up for my newsletter because yeah. we have a new social media team that's going to be kicking in, and we're going to be sending those out every month, and it's going to have hopefully a lot of really helpful information and just 
you know, it's the best way to keep in the loop as far as Distant Worlds shows that I'm doing or Susan shows, because I'm going to be doing some Susan solo shows as well. And it's just kind of a great place, concise place to get all of that information in one little break to your email. And we won't do a lot of it, I promise. It won't be like every two days. Like blasting out just random right. thoughts and things. Like that. Right. Right. Yeah. Because you know um, you sign up and it's like every two hours you get, it's like, oh. Yeah. Well, anyone watching this hopefully will want to sign up for that. If they're yeah. interested in watching this, I'm sure they'd be interested in subscribing. Yeah, I think we so. think it's going to be really good. We really try to make it something that's quality, and, you know, just a way for us to stay connected. And... Okay. So awesome. my closing questions for you. First, <laughs> okay. how excited are you for tomorrow's show? Are you I'm so up? excited. Yes. Yeah. Especially if I can get more sleep tonight, I will be really excited. <laughs> I'd highly recommend it. <laughs> so yes, no, but I'm really excited. I, you know. It's a, so much fun to play these shows, so okay. very excited. And the hotel's good, right? You're going to have a good, good comfort sleep. I think That's everything like looks, like, I didn't yeah. see any crazy things going on, so I think we should be good. Okay. <laughs> um, so we already told them where they can kind of find you online. Is there yes. any other places they can look for you? Maybe Twitter? Oh yeah, Twitter and Facebook are probably my most active social media accounts. Also Instagram. I'm getting more and more into Instagram. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're also, we're doing a new um, video too this fall, so okay. we're not sure when that's going to be out yet, but we're working on a music video, and I'm not sure what song it's going to be yet. Is it a Final Fantasy music we video? We don't know yet. Oh, okay. We're debating. I think it might be, though. So. All right, well, I'll be looking for it. Yes. So yeah. if you, you're signed up to the newsletter. You're, you're going to know this stuff. You're gonna know. This is the so. way. It's the pathway to staying in the know. Yeah. <laughs> so for touring-wise, we know where you're, going, you're going to FanFest. Where are you going after this event going forward, how much do you know already? Right? Between, Between now, and, now and, and as far as you know. Well, there's a lot of things I'm waiting to confirm on, so I okay, we'll, like we'll I leave wait. Out. Yeah, we'll leave those out. I mean, Las, because Las Vegas isn't that far away, so that's, no. that's actually my next uh, Oh, it's the next thing. one? Yeah. Okay. I go home to this, and I'm doing a lot of recording right now, so like after this, I'll be going home and you know, trying to finish the CP for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so then after that, you'll probably have more information about touring and stuff after yes. Fantas, probably. Yes. Yeah. I'm, we're hoping, hoping to have some really good news on that. We're all so. Yes. So, well, to close it out, awesome. is there anything that you want to say to your fans? Well, just that I really appreciate you guys, and I'm so appreciative that you've let me kind of be in this world with you, and I love this music. Thank you for embracing me, and I hope that we have, you know, I hope we can make music together for years and years and years. So, because without you, none of this is possible. So, I'm very grateful for that, and your support is awesome. So, thank you, thank you. Yep. Well, thank you guys for all watching this interview. Hopefully, it'll work out well. Hopefully, the audio will be fine. <laughs> Hopefully, everything will work out right. We're kind of in this weird spot. There might be some background noise back right. there, but and the wonderful music that's playing right yeah, now. Yeah, it's so, the backdrop. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll do our awkward waving. Bye. Bye. And then we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thanks.